Hello, this is Bert with uh, SAB Heli Division, and I want to show you the brand new competition series, Goblin, that is going to be introduced here at the Urcha Jamboree 2013. This is the 700. We're going to start with the tail. One of the most important updates on this helicopter is the dampened tail. It works just like the tail of the Goblin 500. It has a spindle here, and it attaches, and it has dampening with O-rings. Um, removes all the slop. No more slop on this tail. Um, we also have a uh, CNC side plate here that makes the tail stronger, the tail case stronger, and a better support up top. Uh, basically the support allows the tail case to move back and forth without having this tilting sort of motion. Um, as we move forward from the back, you see the new boom. It's got a different design to it. Different boom technology as well in the mold. And then we arrive at the head. This helicopter is shipping with the HPS head. And actually the linkages um, over here are much stronger too. It's a, a much more robust system. The blade grips are two piece. I don't know if you're familiar with the Goblin 630, but the blade grips, instead of being just a one piece, it's a two piece system. So if you have a crash and you uh, bend one of the arms, you can replace the arm without having to replace the entire grip. Um, this helicopter also comes with the quick release uh, canopy mounts out of the box and it comes with the quick release tray for the battery that basically uh, you can connect your battery into the helicopter very easily um, and it allows for easy insertion, insertion and removal of the battery. As we move to this side we can see the inside of the helicopter and the electronics. The frames are much taller. Uh, basically uh, two millimeter frames with a lot more room, vertical room. It allows for bigger batteries. If you want to run 14S, you can. It allows for a bigger ESC. You can fit a Cosmic or any other large ESC without a problem. Um, the belt for the motor and the transmission is a lot thicker as well, so it can handle a lot more abuse and it doesn't strip. Um, and so a lot of different nice interesting features, like low profile landing gear and many other things. So that's it from the Urcha Jamboree, a brief overview of the competition series helicopter which is coming to you in the month of September from SAB Helicopter.